All right, so continuing on, right? Again, part two, and co coincidentally, you know, the second part again, why, you know, again, it's important and such an important plot point. Uh, again, and why it does and it has importance there is again because besides showing that, you know, there are other mechanisms for power besides gambling, you know, again, also what it does is that it certifies or cements. Are like I guess refines what would you call it? Um, Yumiko's character in that sense, because we know besides, because we know obviously she told Ryota to go get Mary, but she didn't tell him that because she thought that Mary would necessarily save her. She told him that because she thought it would be fun, and interesting, and Mary was the first person she could think of to kind of take over for in the gambling match, right? So it wasn't a go-to bid to save, and if because here's the thing, if that was the case. She would probably tell him to make some sort of plea bargain or deal with the, again, you know, the, uh, what would you call it? You know, the family, like the two members of the family there, right? Which she could have taken, seemingly. But again, no, she told him to go get Mary, right? Because that would, she would be a worthy, like, replacement. And that, that would keep things fun and interesting, right? So it shows that, again, kind of similar to the one-eyed crazy uh, student council member, uh, again, she has, again, she's willing to put, well, again, she, the, the student council member, again, she, she just does it again for that, uh, pain, right? You know, for that, uh, what would you call it? Um, a loss, I guess, right? But that, again, similar to her, like, Yumiko is perfectly willing to risk her life, right? Again, not necessarily doing it out for, like, the pain and for the masochism, right? Chism that, again, the student, one eye crazy student council member girl is doing it for she's doing it inherently for that risk itself again we saw her literally what was it again you know in in her uh gamble against you know kaede right we saw that lives were willing to be raised uh, for the stake right again and for the uh, uh what would you call it? for the gamble right so that's just another instance of that here and it goes to again kind of cement her character and kind of cement the fact that she prioritizes that overall even her own life Again, not like in drawing the important difference here, distinguish here, right? Distinction here to distinguish between her and one the one-eyed student council crazy like student council member girl. Uh, again, that's something to wear. She, what would you call it? Again, she just does it because she enjoys the pain. She's a masochist, right? And she wants her life to be taken. Yumiko does it for the gamble and for the inherent risk involved, right? So again, that's just something to wear. At least in terms of that, right? It also goes, because besides showing, again, that, oh, you know, gambling isn't the only form of power, right? You know, you can do other things to take your opponent out. Uh, besides cheating, of course, again, which has been shown rampantly. It also cements Yumiko's character and her, again, sort of, I guess, involvement and her sort of, again, outlook and worldview, like, and beliefs when it comes to, like, again, the school and then that kind of stuff, right? It's even mentioned that pretty much once she showed up to the school things kind of you know again that was when things started you know changing right because again she doesn't do it for any other reason other than the fucking gamble itself right shooting for the high stakes you know the highest stakes of all right and more than willing to stake her own life as a result so again again that's just something to where it's like yeah in terms of that it, it goes to show that and cement that right as opposed to again anything else involved where it's like okay you know oh there was a sit fail safe oh there was a backup right no this was a this was a gamble right that she took uh, and again it's just it, it's such a good plot point and it's such a genius like kind of thing to show again that okay gambling isn't all that matters you know you can use shit like fucking poison and get away with it right so it's like you know you can take people out other ways than uh cheating right and again that's something to where it's like Again, just it's in it that it's something that this show I think did well because obviously gambling is I guess closer, more so tied to just power naturally, but then also you have the cheating aspect, but still again an awkward like again just the gambling in and of itself right kind of determining those rankings, but still something to where as a as compared to like let's say Pokemon or Yu Gi Oh, like they do a good job of showing that okay you know there are forms of power like outside immediately outside of again just the the game or i guess not game but like the sort of gambling in and of itself right such so as like not only cheating but poison that's in it it's such again a good uh what would you call it uh again it's just such a good uh such a good way to uh again show that there right or to again you know present that represent that there 
It's something where they do such a good job. And I'm honestly, I, like, going to end off this video saying this. I honestly can't wait to see what the uh, rest of Season 2 has to, or holds in store, right? Again, I'm not going to make any other video, right, until I'm finished with Season 2. This was, again, the only video I could think of making midway after six episodes of a uh, Season 2, right? And again, we'll see. We'll see what the rest of it has to offer. I'm genuinely curious. And again, once season two is done, I'll make the season two thoughts and opinions. Season one to comparison, most likely, you know, uh, speculation and like, I guess, theory crafting for like future of, I guess, the story. Um, I'll also, and then after, I'll watch Kakiguri Twin, uh, rewatch it, right? Probably make another video on that because uh, I only made the one so far and then comparing that to the actual show now that I watch the show. Then I'll watch the live action version of Kakiguri and probably make a video on that, right? Just again, be interesting, interesting there. And again, because here's what I'll say, right? I watch the show in dub. If there's a dub for an anime, I'll watch it. Live action shows, I usually watch in sub. Like, I guess this is a this is kind of a fucking meme example, right? But when I watch Squid Game, I watch it in sub. Because like, if you watch it in dub, you know, the mouth movements aren't right. In anime, I'm not paying fucking enough attention to their mouth movements, right? But in live action, again, it's just apparent, right? So it's something to wear again, right? In terms of that, uh, yeah, watching that in, what would you call it? Um, so I'll probably end up watching Kakiguri, the live action, in sub. And then again, you know, from there, maybe I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably make an art video after that. But we'll see, and we'll compare it to the actual show. I'm genuinely curious, right? So we'll do a long stint of Kakiguri, and once this is done, I'll move on to an art show. But with that, I don't think I really have anything else to say. That's all I've got for this one. So, yep. That's it for this one. See you in the next one.